Hi, this is Mrs. Cowan. I am a part-time resource teacher here at Baller, and today I'm going to be reading a book called Thank You Mind, Understanding My Big Feelings on Tricky Days by Jennifer Cohen Harper. I like my mind and it likes me. We've figured out a way to be. My mind is helpful in many ways. We work hard to help each other on most days. Thank you, mind, for giving me a pep talk when I need to see that my power never went away, and I can find it even on a tricky day. The world gets confusing. There's so much to know. I feel overwhelmed and don't know where to go. Then I remember that I can slow down, do one thing at a time, feel my feet on the ground. There are times when something is coming that's great, and I feel like I'll burst just trying to wait. But if I listen close, there's a voice that will say, looking forward to fun can be part of the play. Sometimes I'm nervous and feeling afraid, and my mind reminds me that I can be brave. Things might still be hard and my hands might still shake, but I call on my courage and find the next step to take. Sometimes anger fills me up inside with thoughts and feelings I'd rather hide. It's hard not to shout or fight or cry, but I try to stand tall, say what I need and why. Excitement can make me want to run as fast as I can toward what is fun. But while I'm running, my mind tells me, pay attention, enjoy, don't rush past what you see. So filled with things to explore and each bit that I learn makes me want to learn more. My mind's like a magnet that pulls thoughts to me, and with each new idea, there's a whole world I can see. Then there are days when the world is so sad, and it seems like every direction is bad. My heart feels so heavy, it gets hard to breathe. Then my mind sends a whisper, it's okay to grieve. I notice that others are struggling too, and I don't always know just what I should do, but things hurt less with a friend close by. So even if it feels tricky, that's what I'll try. There are times when my friends' lives seem better than mine, and it's hard to find my moment to shine. But I feel a bit better when I remember what's true. Who I am matters more than how well I do. Sometimes I'm bored and can't figure out what to do with myself, what this day is all about. It feels like I have nothing but time and space, but imagination and creation can fill up this place. The joy that I feel when there's love all around reminds me that peace can often be found in the tiny moments that make up my day. My heart and my mind both find rest in the play. It's not always easy to find a way through the tricky and sticky and messy and new. Sometimes my mind is confused and upset and tells me things that I'd like to forget. On those days, I try to breathe out and breathe in. Settling my body is a good place to begin. Reminding myself that those unhelpful ideas are often not true. They grow from my fears. I don't have to believe all the thoughts in my mind, especially the ones that are very unkind. I send some love to myself and I say, remember your power. You can find a way. Then the part of me that is steady and strong, the part that knows just where I belong, comes to give me a hand so I can find the most helpful and loving ideas in my mind. The wonders I see in the sky and the sea, I know the same magic lives inside of me. 
When I'm amazed by the world in awe of the view, my mind says, remember, you're part of this too. On the feelings page, there's different feelings, overwhelmed, anger, sadness, boredom, anticipation, excitement, compassion, joy, fear, curiosity, jealousy, and awe. The end.